Within local Gov Drupal, there are various content types and a step-by-step -step is one of them. A step-by-step -step you would use if you want a user to follow a process. So for example, to renew something or register something or to apply for something. The example I'm showing you here is from Cumbria County Council and it's for registering a birth. So you can see that there is a title, there's a bit of summary text, there's some introductory text and then the actual main body of the process is these five pages here. So as you click on them, it takes you through the process. So who can register a birth, booking an appointment. As you move through them as well, they, these um, previous and next step buttons appear, allowing the user to go backwards and forwards. <coughs> There's also navigation on the right hand side here. And then if you click hide show summaries, each step has a, a brief summary giving the user an indication of what's in that step. So that's a step by step. In terms of creating one, when you first log in, you'll come to this welcome screen and if you click manage up here, there's two ways to create a new step by step. You either go to add content and then you've got two options here or you just click on content and then you'll have this blue button here which is um, the same list but a different view. So we're going to start by creating an overview. So the overview is this page. So in this there's one overview and five pages. So we're going to use an example of renewing a passport. So you start by adding the title which is this title here. Um, generally, it's good practice to add step-by-step step into the title. If you look at this example here from gov.uk, you see that's um, a pattern they use and we've inherited that. So that would be my um, recommendation to add that. The description field you can ignore. Uh, there's also then a summary and a body field. So the summary is this um, text here. So that just summarises the process, so you could say how to renew your passport including what information you need. Then you've got the body uh, field, so in this example here, it's, it's um, this text here from birth down to this alert pattern. So this basically is summarising what the process is or give you some key information. So here we could say something like um, you can renew your passport if you are over 18 years old, you are within six months of your current passport expiry date, you are a British citizen. I don't actually know if any of that's technically correct, but that's the kind of information that you would be putting in here. There is this um, toolbar here, including um, styling and formatting, but I'm not going to go into that at the moment. That's covered in the introduction to local Gov Drupal video, as is revision log messages, menus, URLs, authoring and topic terms. So after you've done the body uh, you then have this field here step-by-step -step pages so this is where the actual pages that sit within the step-by-step -step would be listed but we haven't created them yet so we'll come back to that. Uh, and then finally the parents so this is the section it sits in so in this example here it sits within births so there isn't any information here about passport, so we'll um, add it into the birth section just so you can see how it works. Um, just to say, whenever you see these um, magnifying glasses, it indicates it's a lookup. So if you start typing births, you'll see everything with births in, and then this is the page we want to place it into. And then I'm just going to untick this publish so it doesn't 
put it live and save, and that's created the overview. So next we wanna create a step-by-step -step page. So if you go to content, add content, step-by-step -step page, that'll open up a blank one. So this is gonna be the first page within our process. So it would be something along the lines of information you need. Um, so that's the title. So in this example here, that would be this text here. Next is step title. So the step titles can vary from the titles and they're these titles that sit on the right hand side here. So um, you could make those shorter just for sort of um, clarity and space. So you could just call that information or it could be the same. The next field is step by step overview. So this is how you place it within to the overview. So you, again, you just type the name of the overview you just created and it appears there. So we'll just click that and that will place it within to the um, overview. Next, you've got step summary. So step summary, you can see here, if you click on show summaries, these are the step summaries. So these explain what's for the user, what's in each step. Uh, so for here, it could be um, information and documents you need before you renew your passport. Again, there's this toolbar here, which I'm not going to go into, but you can add formatting. Um, you've then got a summary. So the summary is um, this text here that sits at the top. So as an, another example, it just it's the summary for each page, basically. Um, so for here we could put, um, I think it, to be honest with you, we could probably have the same text that we use for the step summary. Then you have the body. So the body is basically all of this text down to the bottom. So we won't do that for now, but yeah, this would be where you would put it. And again, you can use formatting to add heading styles, links, bulleting, styles, that kind of thing. Just gonna untick that so it doesn't publish it. And again, on the right hand side here, you've got revision log messages and you've got menus, URLs, authoring, etc. But again, we cover that in the intro to Love Love video. So then you click save and that's created the page. So if you then click on this link here, um, part of Renew Your Passport Step by Step, that will take you back to the overview. And you can see this is how the overview and the uh, pages are brought together. So this is how the navigation is created. It will create one, two, three, four, etc. down below. Um, and then if you go up here, you've got View, Edit, Delete, Revisions. If you click Edit, this is just to show you now that page that was blank before is now there because it's automatically been added into the overview. So that's how you create a step-by-step. -step. In terms of finding them, again, if you click on content, it will take you back to this page. So you'll see these, this is a chronological list of all contents. So you'll see these are the two pages we created. First one here being the overview, the second one being the page. If you wanna find all the step-by-step -step pages or overviews, this page is useful. You can just click on content type drop down, step-by-step -step overview filter, and that will show you all of the overviews within the site. Or if you click on step-by-step -step page filter, that will show you all of the step-by-step -step pages within the site. Thank you.